It's a slice of heaven under the coconut tree. You can sit there and watch the world go by while you have some rum and some key lime pie. When I'm there, I'm always feeling alright. That's where you find me almost every night. cafe down on highway. If you go in there, I know you're gonna have some fun, mango mama. That's Mango Mamas by Howard Livingston. Howard lives down on the Keys and makes some beautiful island music. So I'm gonna teach you how to play this little song. Okay, the song really has only three chords in it, which is A, D, and E, just played this way. D and E, so there's not a lot of chords to learn. And you're basically just playing them. It's both for the chorus and for the um, verses. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you're spending twice as much time on the E. So I was playing it like. So I was hammering on the, uh, with my pointer finger onto the first fret on the E to make it sound a little different. Like that. And Howard has horns playing and he's got steel drums and all this to make it sound really fantastic, but since you're just with your guitar, there are some things you can do to make it sound a little different, or if you have two guitars playing, so you've got um, the first, the bottom of the first pentatonic shape right here, which is two on the highest string, two, O, then two, O, one. So what you can do when you get to that E chord, if you want to do something different, you can do something with that, like... is just on the third string, hammer on to the first fret, second string, hammer on to the second fret, fret, open first string, and back to this second fret of the second string. You've also got this second pentatonic shape, which is this one. Also use the bottom of that shape, which is just two, four, two, four, two, two, four on the lowest three strings, so you can go. Something like that, whatever you want to do with that set of strings. What I was doing was just sliding up from on the thick sixth string or the thickest, two to four, then hammer on two to four on the fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, and back to the fifth fret of the second string. 
Another thing you can do is an inversion of the E chord. Something like that. So that's, it's kind of like a D7 shaped move up, moved up two frets. So from the highest string down, it's going to be four, three, four, and two. One other thing you can do is um, this. in the third strings. You have your third pointer finger on the first fret of the third string. Mute the second string in case you hit it. And then hit the open first string. Then both of those strings on the second fret. So you're hitting the third and the first string. Both of them on the fourth fret. Back down and then just hit the bottom three strings with your first finger on the uh, first fret of the third string. So those are some uh, things you can do to make it a little bit different. There is only one other part in the song that's different, and that's uh, down here. Like, I'll play a couple of uh, lines and then go to it. She'll make you a drink in a coconut cup And before too long you'll be back there One to fill it up Here's the new part, you go deep When the band starts to E play We'll be dancing D, the E night away D, can you make my E grouper well done? D, you know a moonlight night you make a E full of anyone and back to I'm going to Mango Mama etc like that so that's all the parts to the song so I hope that helps you out and um, we'll see you another